Hi there, Dave here with a video about solving problems with the Oceanside Open website. As little problems and big problems. Let's take a look at little problems first. So I'm going to start where I always start, the dashboard. So this is what I get after I've logged in. And I'm going to take a look at the website and uh, and look at the contributions page because that's a page that we've changed in other videos, especially the third video down about uh, other pages and how to change them. So let's take a look at the contributions page. <clears throat> it's got uh, Discover Paragliding, and uh, but at one point Blizzard Wines was in there. Let's go put the Blizzard Wines back. So I'm going to come over to the dashboard and go to the pages and uh, select the contributions page and open it up. And when I do, I come over here and see that there are 32 revisions. That means that I can put one of these revisions back, any one of the 32. I can go all the way back to the very beginning or I could just go back one or two versions. It doesn't matter. All the changes are being maintained. So let's go take a look at how we could do that. We said we wanted one with the Blizzard Wines in there. So I'm going to browse. And it brings them up. <clears throat> okay, so no Blizzard Wines over here. Let's go to the next one down. Let's see. Uh, spot landing, no, nope, no blizzard wines. Oh, there's the blizzard wines. This one over here, this is the one we want. Let's go one more. We want it over on this side. Okay. And so there it is. Now we've got blizzard wines over on the right-hand side. And this is the version that we want. So we're going to restore this version. And there it is. And now, if we want the world to see this old version, all we have to do is do the update. And we've got it. So we come over to the contributions page and refresh it. And we see now that Blizzard Wines and the link to it is back. Let's go. Maybe the site's just slow. Let's try it this direction. And, and contributions. Sometimes it gets slow when the changes are being made. There we go. And there's Blizzard Wines back. And if I don't want that, I can certainly go back to the other version, or I can just change this version. Once again, we could edit it right from here if we wanted to. And uh, there we go. There's the Blizzard Wines version. Bang. Gone. And we'll just go ahead and update that version. And then we can go ahead and visit our page again. Uh, on the site just to make sure we could in fact look at it right there by clicking that button or look at it right here but me I just trust coming back to the website because I've been fooled in the past there it is all right what are the kinds of problems another kind of simple problem is just fixing things as you're going um, this is uh, I'll show you so down here, I'm going to uh, type something. This is the truth. And then I'll go to another line, and I'm going to say this is false. And so what I want to do now is, oh, that had to be changed. That's not the right word. I could just go and correct it. 
Of course, I could right click here and it will give me false. That's just what I want. I could click this and select it. Or something that we, we could also just go back. So if I hit Control Z, that's going to undo changes that I've made. So if I hit Control Z, it gets rid of the whole line. If I hit another Control Z, it goes up to the next line. I hit another Control Z, it goes all the way to the T for whatever reason. And then one more Control Z, and it gets rid of it. One more Control Z, and I'm back up to how it was. And I can go the other way too by hitting Control Y. I'm just hitting Control and Y, and brings me back to here. Okay, well, I don't want any of this stuff in here. So I'm just going to go back to the point where Blizzard Wines wasn't in here. So I'm going to hit Control Z, bang, bang, and I'm just going to hit Control Z until it comes to the right place. Oh, yeah, I guess it won't. It's not wanting to take this out. It's wanting to have me do that. That's fine. Now it's how I want it. I'm going to go ahead and update it. And then uh, I should be able to come over here and refresh this. And uh, should be able to see exactly the same thing I did earlier. There we go. Now, there's bad problems. And bad problems are problems where the website goes down. It's been hacked. Now, Steve, his server farm software is probably going to be able to back us up to before the point that we got hacked. But if he doesn't have it, we have a system also built into the website. And uh, it could be very helpful to Steve in, in a rebuilding. I'm not sure. But it allows us to take some responsibility for that recovery process. There's a tool down here inside of the tools called Backups. And what it is, is a schedule. There's two schedules. There's a schedule for a daily backup and there's a schedule for a weekly backup. And uh, I haven't actually executed a weekly backup. Now, this sentence here describes what's going to happen. It says that just the database is going to be backed up because and we're going to keep a week's worth. And this sentence is based upon the settings. And we can set those settings. Once we do, then we get sentences. So on the weekly schedule, which hasn't run yet, notice it's 74 megabytes, and it's going to contain the database and the files. So the files are going to be a large portion of it, and they don't usually change very much because user information and which pictures are associated with what that all that's in the database even though the images which don't really change they're not in the database we don't need to back up those images all the time but we would like to be able to back up the database so we can see the relative size of those noticing that's 74 and over here this is two so it's a, a quick way to ensure that we can come back quickly. Okay, now Steve and I can get to these. <clears throat> but you might want to, or one who is responsible for the website, might want to download one of the versions of the weekly, for instance. You could go to the weeklies once they're done and download it, put it on your hard drive. And that way, even if uh, Steve's uh, server farm uh, 
went away for some reason, uh, we'd still be able to move the Oceanside open to another hostings uh, place. Okay, take care.